Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working on this, well, I'm about to start working on this BMW 135. And it's not horrible, I guess. Um, my client just purchased it. He happens to be a BMW tech. And uh, the wheels are plasti dipped. I'm not gonna do a whole, oh, I mean, I'm gonna try to clean them, but he doesn't care about any of that. I am going to uh, try to straighten out that headlamp. This has also got plasti dip on it. It's got some chips, stuff like that. I wish he had brought me the uh, touch up, however he did not. That light has a little something on it. We'll see if I can't fix that. It's not horrible. Um, he did use that Lexol on the interior, which I also am uh, going to be working on. So I, he did the spot here which looks like it dried it out real bad. And that the towel that he used has red stuff on it. In fact, I'll show you. I'm gonna show you what I found in the front seat. Was that, that is not good. And I'm assuming that's why he brought it to me because he was concerned that he was damaging the leather which I'm hoping it's not ruined in that area. We'll see. I don't want to get it all nice and clean, try to get it all looking even and stuff, vacuum out the floorboards and that kind of thing. So I'm doing a pretty much a complete interior detail. I'm not going to bother shampooing the carpets, but I am going to get that leather looking nice. And then I'm going to wash clay bar and then do a one-step polish on the outside and then I'm gonna put on some infinite force field I'm also gonna fix the headlights and that kind of thing so you see what kind of shape it's in now not horrible definitely got some bugs and some other random debris all over it it's got some scratches here and there you see all these scratches here but not worried about any of that all right boys and girls this BMW 135 is all done I want to talk to you about what I did I'm gonna start with the interior now you will notice that this seat only looks marginally better that is because it has been dyed there is dye on top of dye I don't know what happened all I know is when I went to clean the seat, that happened. Yeah, that's not forever rinseless. That's dye off of that seat. So it seems like the only seat that had has the dye on it is the driver's seat, which would make sense. It gets the most wear and tear. But I guess if what I'm trying to do here with this video segment is to show you weekend warriors, pro detailers, all of that. If you see dye coming off the leather, it's either been re-dyed or your cleaner is too strong. I can tell you I was using Infinite Purpose Cleaner, one part product to nine parts water and because I knew it looked funny and this is what happened on that. It's a very weak dilution, uh, still potent enough to do some work, but weak compared to what I generally use. Uh, and this is where we're at. Um, this section that he did looks okay, but I fear that there's uh, so somewhere it's damaged, which is probably why they did the dye. But I can tell you that I can see dye in these cracks. I can see that it's been dyed. So I'm guessing it was, well, I, I would imagine they did the whole surface, but specifically because it might, it may have been damaged there. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm, 
I'm not going any farther with it. I've decided to, I just went ahead and uh, got the other ones clean. You can see those look way better. They actually look proper. They do not look like this one. Uh, again, I believe it's been dyed. I'm not messing with it. I'm going to tell the owner he can deal with it. Um, I'm not willing to basically risk having to replace the seat or have it re-dyed or whatever. I'm not doing it. I'm not in the business to uh, have to pay for things that I damage. I'm in the business to make vehicles look fantastic. And uh, sometimes you just have to leave well enough alone. Uh, he's not going to be happy I couldn't fix it, but I'm not willing to damage it any further. So he can go ahead and do his thing. Uh, anyway, interior has interior force field on everything. So I use that same one part product, nine parts water dilution to wipe down the entire in uh, interior. Um, you'll notice that I did the, the back seats as well. I cleaned the carpets. There were absolutely some spills uh, in the console area. I got those all out with Infinite Purpose Cleaner. Um, interior force field went on everything. The only thing that didn't get treated is this driver's seat. I literally realized that I wasn't going to be able to do what I thought that I could do for the guy or and he wanted and I stopped on it. I'm not touching it anymore. Um, that's it. So that's the interior. Notice that I did the door jams and stuff. On the outside, I did a one-step polish. I used uh, Infinite Finish on the entire exterior to give it, you know, to add some gloss uh, and to lay down some primer because I finished it with Infinite Force Field. So it has Infinite Force Field on it. It's pretty glossy. Uh, those wheels, I told you uh, at the beginning, I'm not doing a whole lot with them. I did clean the calipers real well. They're powder coated. They're, you know, BMW wanted you to see them. He's going to put new wheels on it, he said, so I didn't bother with that. They're plasti dipped. It is gross. So, calipers are all clean. What else? I got a lot of the scratches that were in this area are gone. I got those out. This one right here was a little deeper than I could uh, handle within the budget and the time constraints. Uh, this area, it definitely looks like all of the, the bad spots have been highlighted because everything around it looks so glossy and nice now. Uh, the clay bar was absolutely horribly dirty. But that's what you get when you buy a used car with 90,000 miles. You know, it's been used. Um, I did get that big spot off that headlight, which is good. Um, I also cleared that one up quite a bit. Again, it's a used headlight. It's not brand new. But everything that's left, you can feel is not on the surface, it's on the inside of the plastic. But they match pretty well, I'm not unhappy with that. So, BMW 135, all done. Infinite finish, followed by infinite force field. And then on the interior, IPC, followed by interior force field. And that's really it. I mean, I washed it and clayed it, polished it, and then uh, put the coating on. I wiped the engine bay down too, but it wasn't that dirty. I just knocked the dust off of it so he'd have more of a complete job done. But that's it. If you guys got questions for me or you uh, want to have me detail a vehicle for you, if you're a potential customer, 813-846-4406. If you got detailing product questions or process questions, I'm more than willing to help you with those. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate the time you guys take to uh, sit through sometimes these long and maybe they're boring, but I try to ensure that they are very informational. So if you need me, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.